Well, hello, my name is Greg Reed. I'm uh, the life coach with Merrill Brothers. And if I ask you to uh, nominate the most popular song ever written, I wonder what that might be. We would get lots of different genres, I'm sure, lots of different uh, uh, nominations. But let me suggest that it might be a song written by a shepherd boy, because I think in this song, we know it as the 23rd Psalm, uh, I think it offers to us the antidote for worry, for busyness, for damaged emotions, for indecision, for dark valleys, for hurts and fears of the future. Uh, and so over the next six weeks, we're going to be walking through and praying through one verse a week of Psalm 23. And so verse 1 of that offers the antidote to worry. I don't know if any of you out there are worriers, but my guess is we may have some Olympic-sized uh, uh, worriers that are part of this company. I remember a story about a guy named Joe, and Joe just worried all the time. Every time somebody talked to him, he was always worried, always looked down, never had a smile. And then one day, uh, his friend Bob saw him, and Joe was smiling. Joe was happy. He was whistling. And Bob said, Joe, what happened? And he said, hey, I finally decided to pay somebody to worry for me. And Bob said, well, Joe, how, like, what would that cost you to do that? He said, that's going to cost me $1,000 a week. He said, Joe, you can't afford that. How, how are you going to do that? And he said, I don't know. That's his worry. So worry is something that I think we learn, that we practice, but we can also practice not worrying. And so this first verse of Psalm 23 goes like this. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. I want you to hear that again. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. I think in that one verse is the secret to conquering worry. It's the, the, to believe God will take care of you. I mean, that's really the essence of Psalm 23, verse 1. And so I'm going to give you one minute to be quiet. And during that minute, what I want you to imagine is that you're going to offer to God your biggest worry, the biggest worry you have right now. And I just want you to imagine giving that over to Him like, like you're handing it to Him. So I'll give you 60 seconds, and whatever that big worry is right now, I want you just to hand that over to Him and know that He will give you everything you need. I think there are really two options for how to do life. One is that you're in control, and when that's the case, there's constant worry. The other option is that God's in control of your life, and so you don't have to worry. If somebody said, Greg, how often do you worry every day? I would say about two seconds. Because there's just no... If I really believe that God's in control and that I have everything I need, then I can continue to give Him each one of those worries as they come up. So I want to pray for you, but I want you to hear that verse again. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. Father, thank you that uh, you give us the option either to be in control of our lives or to give you con control. And when we give you control, then worry really becomes a thing of the past because you give us everything we need. So I just give you thanks uh, and pray that you would uh, continually remind us that you're our shepherd and that we have everything we need. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day and we'll see you next week.